Well, the countdown is on. We've got six days, 12 hours, and then it's bug jam. And if I'm honest with you, <laughs> yeah, it's all against us at the moment. So I've gone ahead. Obviously, we're waiting for the turbo, um, but I've got everything prepped in here now. And I just thought I'd get the timing belt done. And I was going to save that bit till tomorrow, and I was just going to get all the the, uh, the vacuum pipes. I was just going to do that this evening. Um, and then I checked the weather forecast for tomorrow, and it's going to rain. It's going to be absolutely horrendous, apparently, all day. Well, then it will only be, you know, then I'll have four days left, because tomorrow would be a write-off. So rather than tomorrow being a write-off, I'm just going to get on with it this evening. Uh, I've already drained the coolant, um, obviously taking the rocker cover off that's all off now but now yeah I was just making some checks making sure that when I put the turbo on that everything's going to be all right so if you want to see how to do this the cam belt water pump diesel pump belt if you want to know how to do any of that I will actually leave a link down below for previous videos that I have where I do the timing belt I set up the pump timing um, yeah Follow the link down below, maybe up in the top corner as well. And I'm just going to crack on with things and hopefully, I mean, I don't know what the time is now. I think it's probably coming up to six o'clock. So hopefully I'll be done here before it gets too dark. Or at least we'll have the cam belt done side, at least. All I have done so far, got the power steering pulley off. Dampener's loosened, all of the little bolts are loosened around the dampener. Um, so we're at the stage now of just taking the cover off. And then we'll get down to the cam belt. It, to be fair, we're at the, all the longest bits have been done now. So this bit here shouldn't take too long. And for once, I'm not actually going VW OEM. I'm going for an aftermarket kit. I got the inner. Ina, don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's German, it should be all right. They are actually used in OEM vehicles as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a good kit. Well, I've had a look through it already. We've got both belts in there, all the tensioners. Um, it is the full kit that I've got, so it's got everything both belts, tensioner, pulley, pulley. Uh, no, no, there's no tension at this side, no pulley. Um, yeah, bolts, water pump, what else does it come with? Yeah, it's come with everything. Diamond washer, crank bolt. Right, so I have, it is all TDC as well. I mean, I'm not really get. this isn't a how-to because I haven't got enough time. But this is just... <laughs> Oh, countdown to the turbo. Yeah, next video will definitely be the turbo. Right, I'm going to get on with this and I'll catch up with you in a minute and I'll see how we're getting on. And we'll check it, have a, we'll have a quick look at the time and see how long it's taken. I mean, I haven't really been timing myself. I've just been plodding along. I've been out here for a few hours because I've been doing other jobs as well. Right, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so this is where we're at. I've got the water pump out. New water pumps in. It keeps raining, so it's um, it's an absolute nightmare trying to do it when it's raining. I haven't got any more waterproofs on. I don't want anything in the engine getting wet. But the timing kit that I got, like I said earlier, it's really good. Um, there's a little barcode scanner thing on there, so you can scan that and it comes up with some info. I haven't bothered with any of that. Right. So the water pump is in, all torqued down, three bolts, 20 newton meters. And yeah, I don't know whether I've said, but those cam seals, uh, the crank seal and the cam seal, I'm not replacing them. Um, they were already done a couple of years ago and they still look good. Right, I'm going to put the pulley on, 
put the belt on, tension it up. Oh, it's just starting to rain again. Right, I better shut this bonnet down. Oh yeah, no, I lied about the time. Um, it's actually about seven o'clock. So about an hour and a half to get to here. But yeah, we're almost all back together on this side. And then it'll be a diesel pump. But the sun's going down, so I don't know whether I should wait till tomorrow or not. Probably got about another hour of daylight. I mean, I probably could get the pump belt done that time, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to risk it. Speechless, speechless. The weather report was right and it is hammering it down. It has been all morning. It's now, I don't know, probably about 11 o'clock. Um, I've been waiting, I've been putting it off all morning for a few hours, hoping that the rain would actually calm down a little bit. But it's just getting heavier and heavier. And then when I checked on the app, it said it's gonna rain even more. So. But at least the cam belt's all on. I've already gone ahead and I'm just making a start on the diesel pump timing. Uh, I've got the gauge all set up. Um, and as is a little tip for you, a top tip when you're actually doing your pump timing, is if you put your little DTI gauge on before it's coming round to TDC, if you know where TDC is. So just before it's coming round to TDC, um, I put my DTI gauge in and and I watched a little DTI gauge. I put it in about halfway, so it's down, it's about five mil depth. Um, so, you know, the gauge, as you push the DTI gauge in, that little dial spins around, yeah, and then there's like little numbers. So I usually get that to about four or five, um, just before it's coming round. And then you will find bottom dead center of the diesel pump timing as you're timing the engine up, as you're trying to find TDC. You'll notice that the DTI gauge will stop moving at that point stop rotating the engine and then you can zero your DTI gauge and then rotate your engine until you get to 55 degrees on well 55 mil lift on the uh, on that diesel pump so when you're at 0.55 you should be TDC I set mine up at 0.56 so I've rotated my DTI gauge to 0.56 um, I did actually film it, but I wasn't filming it for you guys. I was filming it so that I could actually see what the DTI gauge was saying uh, from where I was on the angle. Uh, but I'll, yeah, I could put a little clip on there and then you'd better see. But I've got it all lined up now. That's all TDC. Well, I think it's TDC. I've done TDC by the pump. So the pump's timed up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the pump off where it is. And then when the rain calms down a little bit, uh, I'll get my head underneath and I'll just double check to make sure that the engine is TDC. If the engine's not TDC, what I can do is, is the pump's still timed up and, you know, 55 mil lift, well, in my case, 56 mil lift. I can still keep that timed up and locked up and I can rotate the engine on the crank side as long as the pulley on your diesel pump crank, uh, the pulley on your cam on the diesel pump timing side as long as that is loose or off, then that'll be fine. But obviously, I've still got mine both connected. So what I will do is, I will lock the pump off, I will then crack that bolt, I will take the diesel pump timing belt off, and then I will double check and make sure that we are TDC. Hopefully that made sense. Right, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there, a little bit of a tip for you, a little bit of help. 
Mate, I'm soaking, laying down in the puddles. It's just my back. I, I, you know, I look dry from the front and my head. <coughs> it's because I've been <laughs> head under the van, but my back on the floor absolutely soaked. I feel sorry for Phil Posty. Absolutely hammering it down. Right, so it's literally just stopped raining. I've been in and out, in and out, whenever it stops trying to get stuff done. But I just noticed this. I don't know how well it's going to pick it up. But on there, it's got the brand. And they're both exactly the same. And the old timing belt kit was all OEM from a company that I had done years ago. So when I'd done the engine build, um, I actually just reused the old, well, all the old timing belt and stuff. But yeah, the new one, exactly the same. Exactly the same. So it finally stopped raining for a few minutes and I've managed to get all of the diesel pump timing all back together again. So that's all back together, all sorted out. Check the tensioner, that's all fine, everything's good. Um, turned the engine a couple of times, yeah, happy days. <laughs> I've had to put a little bit of wood in to support the bonnet just to try and keep everything dry while we were in there. But It's not too bad, everything's back on now, and it is dry in there. Yeah, I've still got the coolant that needs to be filled up. Uh, we'll do that later on. Not too worried about that at the moment. I just want to get everything else sorted. Next job will be to drain all the oil, fresh filter, and then we still got the turbo. Yeah, we still got the turbo to sort out. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I started filming this yesterday, um, yeah, we've got the turbo sorted, so stay tuned. And if you're uh, watching on Instagram and you follow me on Instagram, you already know what's going on with the turbo. So hook me up, Twigs T4, Instagram, and you don't miss out on anything. Right, I'm going to call it a day. We're all done out here. This is all good. I'm going to go edit it all up. Just going to tidy up out here. And then next time, we'll be doing the turbo. Turbo. Good times, good times, good times. Right, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.